Ravi and his friends play cricket in the colony park every day. Now, there is a small problem that they face every day. That is, the park is just beside the road and many times their ball goes on the road, which is a problem for the vehicles as well as for them. So they decided they will install nets on all the sides of the park. The next question was, what will be the length of the net that they need to purchase to cover all sides of the park? Well, for that, they took the help of Ravi's uncle. Now, Ravi's uncle said that it's very simple. Just calculate the perimeter of the park and that will be the length of the net that you will need. Now, what exactly is perimeter? Everybody was confused. So, uncle explained. Well, he said perimeter is length of the path or the edge that surrounds a shape. So, in this case, what will be the perimeter? Well, length of the path or edge that surrounds the shape. So, it will be nothing but length of this entire boundary of the park. If you know the length of this boundary, then this is nothing but perimeter of the park. In fact, for any shape, this is what we call the perimeter. So, it is nothing but length of the path or edge that surrounds a shape. So, in this case, Ravi and his friends calculated the length of each side. And these are the calculations that they came up with. Now, what is the perimeter of this shape? What do you think? Well, the perimeter will be nothing but you will have to add all these sides because perimeter is the total length of the sides which are surrounding this shape. So, we have 10 meters. So, I have 10. Then we have 8 meters. 8, 7 meters. This is 7 meters. 7, 5. Next, we have this side. So, this side is 18 meters long. So, plus 18. Now, this side is 6 meters long. Plus 6. Then, I have this side which is a smaller side, just 2 meters long. 2. And then, I have this particular side which is 7 meters long. So, plus 7. Now, if I add all these, what do I get? Well, I have 10 plus 8, 18. Now, when I add 7 to 18, what do I get? 25. And when I add 5 to 25, I get 30. 30 plus 18 will be 48. 48 plus 6 will be 54 and 54 plus 2 will be 56 and 56 plus 7 will be 63. So, we have 63 and what exactly is the unit? Well, it's meters. So, it's 63 meters. So, what is the perimeter of this particular park? It's 63 meters. So, this is how you calculate perimeter of any particular shape. So, now that you know what is perimeter of a shape, can you find the perimeter of this particular shape? What do you think will be the answer? Well, let's calculate. It will be nothing but sum of all the sides, that is sum of length of all the sides. So, we have 2 plus 5 for this, 5 plus this side is 10 meters, so 10, then this is 9 meters, 9, then I have 7 meters here, so plus 
सेवन देन नाइन मीटर्स अगेन सो प्लस नाइन देन सिक्स मीटर्स हियर सो प्लस सिक्स एंड देन आई हैव फाइव मीटर्स हियर सो प्लस फाइव सो वॉट इज द पेरामीटर टू प्लस फाइव इज सेवन सेवन प्लस टेन इज सेवनटीन सेवनटीन प्लस नाइन इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस सेवन इज थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री प्लस नाइन इज फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू प्लस सिक्स इज फोर्टी एट एंड फोर्टी एट प्लस फाइव विल बी फिफ्टी थ्री सो द आंसर इज फिफ्टी थ्री बट इज द आंसर कंप्लीट नॉट रियली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मीटर्स सो इट इज फिफ्टी थ्री मीटर्स सो पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर शेप इज फिफ्टी थ्री मीटर्स सो यू सी पेरीमीटर इज द लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री नाउ विच एवर शेप यू हैव इफ यू कैन फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ द बाउंड्री दैट विल बी द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर शेप फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी हैव अ सर्कल नाउ इफ यू कैन मेजर the boundary of this circle the length of the boundary of this circle then it will be perimeter of this particular shape now even for triangle similarly if you add up all the sides you get the perimeter even for a rectangle if you add up all the sides you get the perimeter and in the case of square if you add all the sides you get the perimeter but if you are dealing with regular shapes such as these you do not always need to add the sides or exactly measure the length of the boundary well there are standard formulas for standard shapes with the help of which you can calculate the perimeter of that particular shape without actually measuring each side or entire boundary of the shape so in order to find the perimeter of such shapes you can always add up the sides or measure the length of the boundary and you can get the perimeter or you can apply certain formulas for standard shapes which you will learn later don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per icse cbse ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you also get amazing prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now